Hi there, here's Natalie Reitschwitz from Traditional Healing Art and Earth Magic. So now we entered a new calendar year as well, 2021 is here. So from the juridic point of view, the year ended already in Samhain, that was around uh, um, November last year. And um, since Samhain to uh, Christmas, this is the time of release and also calling in the new. Um, even when you can't see it yet. Um, Christmas is then the time where you can see the light. So this is like the first creation step. Um, we have called it in already before. It wasn't seen, but now we can see and feel it. It is not here in the, uh, yet in the material uh, level, um, but we can feel it, we can see it. So in Germany, um, there are the Rauhnächte. They are the holy nights uh, between the calendar years. And there you can feel into every month that is coming for the next year. And then uh, we have Imbolc in February. This year it's a bit late. It's uh, middle of February coming. So this is Lichtmess in German. Um, it's... Um, normally from the Christian side on the 1st of um, February but it's not always there because it's a moon festival so it has to change actually and go with the tides wherever the moon is um, at the in this year so it's changing year to year um, and this is the time where the light is coming back the warmth is changing and the first flowers are coming through the earth so there, our ideas, our wishes are coming into the material world stronger. So we can, you know, start to smell them, to feel them. We can make plans how to bring them really into the world. Um, this is then. So now we are still in the time where we got lots of information for the next year. We got a feeling already how it shall come through. Um, and for me, it didn't felt so easy. So 2020 was a powerful year. 2021 is, um, for me, it feels that it's also really powerful here. It's um, a year connected to strength and growth and transformation as well. Um, it's a year that can be quite challenging and um, it's a year that will... Yeah, perhaps bring you onto your boundaries as well. So, um, yeah, we will see exactly what will come. What is interesting, 2020 brought us a lesson to really dive deep into our hearts and from there to go forward and do our steps, to trust ourselves and to go by this trust into our future, making our decisions from the heart and going by that. So this is staying. This is what we have, how we have to live now. So 2021 is a year where we really change um, how we live. Um, and for that, we felt it already in the last year, you know, lots of systems are breaking down. Um, the school system is not working anymore and so on. So we have to change a lot of stuff. Um, it will transform itself. So. You don't have to react by fear with that. Um, it's just something that is happening. So just go into your heart, see where is your part in that, where is your space, where you have to be, when you have to be, where. These are all things that are more and more important when these transformation getting stronger and stronger. And as you felt already a few years ago, you know, you could decide if you want to dive deep into your emotions or not. At the moment, you have no choice. If you want it or not, it just takes you wherever you have to go. Um, there's no escape at the moment, really. Um, everyone, you know, is just pushed at their buttons and um, you have to deal with it. And that's good because it clears, it clears a lot. And this is what is needed when you want to bring something new into the world. So 2021 is bringing a lot new stuff for us on a private level and also on an um, economic level, on a global level. So um, what, I, what I learned from 2020 is that um, 
it's not longer just about us. We have really to be clear here that we are one species of so many other species on this earth and that we're all together on that. And uh, for me, it feels as long as we don't get that straight, um, there will not be a change. Also that our control mechanisms will not really help us in that. Um, so surrender is really a big thing on that, um, on that change list. Um, surrender to what is and go with that, what is. And um, so the heart is there coming in again. Trust the information that you're getting. Follow the information that you're getting. Where to be, when, how, with whom, and so on. Um, we don't know what all will come. We don't know how these changes are coming apart. And there is no need to get in fear about that. Um, it's perhaps just the need to open up, to realize. Um, as I said, I think 2020 in the beginning of the year, <laughs> that humans are not the crown of existence. We are a part of the whole existence. And this we really have to realize. Humans have incredible power because we are creating no matter what we're doing. We're creating constantly. So it's on the time to get more conscious about that and to call into our lives what we want to create, to call into this earth what we want to create. So this is our superpower as humans. Um, and so this is also responsibility. So this week now is really about that. Getting clear what you want in your life. I mean, you have been cleared already, I think, last year. Um, but still, when there's drama coming up, when there is, you know, your nerds, your habits, your addictions, whatever it is, see clear. Look yourself in your eyes. See if you want to stay with that or if you want to make another decision. This is the time where shifts can happen very easily. Um, as you feel, shit is coming up more easily, but it's also leaving much easier sooner much much quicker much easier and so this is your time this week to get clear from which um, room you want to act on so get clear which are the energies that you're calling in this year what is the power that you want to act from is it your nerds is it your addictions or is it what you want to call into your life Connect to that. It's that easy. So when you feel that you're ruled by your nerds or addiction, just close the book. Close this book. Open the book with your strength words. Find the words that you want to call in for this year and then connect to them because it's an energy that you tap in. And by doing so, you are calling it forth into your life. Okay, this is very important for you. So get clear on these things. When you feel that you have to go somewhere through your heart, follow it. When you feel that you did something wrong, don't make a big fuss out of it. Just let it go and make a new decision and go step by step in the new direction. It's okay. It's all fully okay. You know, no drama, no... Um, no beating up yourself any longer <laughs> for stuff that is, you know, perhaps anyway not happening. You know, it's not so much about our control. This is what I got from 2020. It's not so much about our control, more surrendering. So we are still in the time of um, Rowan. And Rowan is the plant, I will, I will do an extra video on it, but it's the plant of protection. So it helps you to get your, um, your plate, your room free of that that does not longer serve you. Um, it is helping you to get your energy clear and the same is doing the frankincense at the moment. You can use it to help you to get out of toxic and negative um, energies and to really connect you to your source and to the earth and to get your room clear. You know, this is what frankincense is doing in the churches as well. It's clearing space. So clear space, get your focus clear for this year. 
do whatever you need for that, you know, write in your journal or do a vision board or, you know, write the words they're important for this year, big on paper and pin it somewhere where you can see it so that you can always connect to it. This is very powerful. And um, just let us do some magic in this year. Um, we all feel it that there are changes to happen, you know, happening no matter what we're doing, no matter how we're acting. So get smooth with that and really connect to your strength, to your heart um, and to your hope, to your forces, <laughs> to your miracles. Okay, let me know how this is resonating for you and um, also share with me what are your words, what are your powers that you're calling forth this year that you want to um, remember yourself always when you get into your own trouble. So, um, big hug and see you. Bye.